So we're currently looking at a race in running here. You can see the odds flying around all over the place. Stuff's happening left, right and centre and, you know, lots of interesting stuff. But it's very difficult to visualise exactly what's going on here and which one you should click on. And I can look at the TV over here, which you can't see, and I can see this guy in the green um, is sort of looking OK at the moment. And I'm trying to line it up on there. I think it's... Uh, no, I can't actually... <laughs> There's a lot going on, and um, as a consequence, um, if you're going to do something in play, maybe you don't want to use um, the um, one-click screen, or perhaps the ladder, because if you're using the ladder, then odds are flying around all over the place very, very quickly. Um, but we do have a tool in BetAngel that allows you to visualize and place bets much easier if you're looking at an in-play event, but it also has a lot of other benefits as well, and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So yeah, we're looking at a race here, looking at the one click screen. We can look at it on the ladder as well. Um, but there is another way that you can view a market. Um, if we look, for example, on the ladder here, can you see that um, Auspicion is down uh, at the bottom end of its trading range? And you can see that um, it traded at a high of about 7.8. Well, if we go up to the tools on the central bar here and click on this little winning post icon, uh, this reveals something uh, that should interest you because this is basically bringing up the in-play trader screen, but it also contains information about the market. And um, only after we created it did I start using it to have a quick glance at what was going on within the market. But can you see here, Excel again, bottom end of trading range. What you're looking at here is the current um, back and lay prices and so on and so forth, and the bar is the traded range. So you can see here auspicion bottom end of its traded range. You can switch these on and off at will. So you can see here back price, uh, lay price, last traded price. So if I switch those off, we'll have the last traded price and the bar for the um, entire traded range. So you can see here, um, you know, where individual runners are within this market. You can look at a, a market and instantly get a view on exactly what's going on. So we can tell auspicion has been backed in. Excel again has been backed in and it's, it's just popped back out briefly. But we can see there's a drift on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, coming in slightly out, out. So that just gives you a quick view. You can see instantly um, sort of what's going on uh, within the market. But the in-play trader itself, let me just move it over here for a second, is a um, useful tool within its own right. Um, I've just showed you how you can use it to have a quick glance at the market, but the idea is that when you're using the in-play trader, um, it's a more intuitive way of trading in play. As you just saw in that header um, on, on this video, trying to work out what's going on at any one time is quite difficult, but if you could uh, look at this horse and say, aha, it's that one, click, you know, how wonderful is that? And that's exactly what you can do on in-play trader. Now you can see up here we've got a couple of different things. You can see it says win scale. So this is basically saying um, when we're looking at these particular, um, in fact probably the best way is to demonstrate it, you can see here a tick scale indicates that this is 101, this is 1000. The win percentage scale says as the horse gets to here it's getting more and more certain and as it goes out here less and less certain. So this is on a scale of 1%, uh, sorry 100% to 1% and the tick scale is based upon ticks and in fact the win percent scale is a better way of visualizing it in my opinion. You can change the um, size of the font and so on if you want to make it bigger or smaller it's up to you how you want to do that um, but you can also put a, a no labels um, or you can do the odd label or you can do the win percent it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. It's a great way of visualizing uh, the market. We'll stick with the odds label, we'll stick with defaults for this particular moment in time. Now, not only does it show you this information, but if I want to place a bet, um, when the race starts, which we'll have a look at in a second, um, these odds will start moving. So what actually happens is the odds start moving closer and closer to the winning line. So if I want to place a, a bet on a horse that I think is going to win, I just click in front of it. And if I think it's going to lose, I can click behind it. You can see at the moment I've got no bet placement switched on on this particular tool. But these are the options you've got available, back only, lay only, or left click. Right, uh, left click back, right click lay. So you could actually trade in and out by going click click. Um, so if you think he's going to drift but you want to trade out as quickly as possible um, or you want to take advantage of something that's happened within the race itself, it's just a click to either back or to lay. 
Now, of course, if we, if we look at the bottom of the screen here, then as I move my mouse around, you can see that it's telling me the odds at which I will back or lay. So you do have options available uh, within the tool to decide how you're actually going to place that bet. So at the moment, we've got it uh, listed as price based on mouse position. But you can do best market price, second best, custom ticks inside or outside. So that will allow you to um, decide exactly what bit you're going to place and when. Maybe you're specializing in some particular function within this market and therefore you want to place it at a very specific price. So this will allow you to decide if you want to place it inside uh, the current price and so on and so forth. But don't forget as well, um, you've got the ability um, to use things like the one click screen. So let, let's actually skip to the one click screen here and uh, bring that up. Um, if you're smart, uh, what you can do here very easily is actually line it up uh, with those each individual runner. So if I just adjust the height of this slightly, we'll just pull that down to there and pull it up a little bit again. Then what we've actually done here is we've aligned each one of these runners to their position on the one click screen. So you can use this as a visualization aid and then actually place the bet on the one click screen. Or you can use um, the global settings or you can use the custom columns. If you haven't seen the custom col column video, go back and watch it and you'll see how to set up a custom column. So you can actually say to it, when I click this column, I want you to back at this price with these characteristics with this amount of money. So you can watch what's going on over here. You could click back and lay using the in-play trader or you click on your custom column or one of these columns within the one click screen. So you've got the best of both worlds. You can actually see the uh, what's going on within the race itself and then click on the one click screen to get it to inherit semi-automated characteristics. But yeah, it does an awful lot. It's worth exploring and make sure you switch on practice mode when you're exploring it because you're bound to make a mistake the first time you use it. Uh, but it's quite intuitive. When the race starts, which we'll have a look at in a minute, um, then the eventual winner is going to run towards the winning post. Uh, and you can take advantage of that by either using something in the background on Bet Angel or actually clicking directly in front of the horse as it's running. So yeah, very useful tool. Um, not only is it useful for doing a specific in-play strategy, but when you join a market and you bring up this tool, it will give you a nice little visual overview of exactly what's going on in the market. You can see that in a flash and you don't need to look at any numbers um, or assess the market from that perspective. It's all contained on one screen. So very often I'll have this in the background and when I flick to a market I'll just have a quick look at it um, to see what the market structure is like. But what we'll do now is um, we'll wait for the next race and um, you can see what happens when the market goes in play. So let's have a look at this race that's coming up. Typically you would do some sort of an analysis um, on the race that you're looking at. You'd have to have some angle on it, something that uh, you would expect to happen. Um, or the horse runs a certain way and those sort of things. But we're, we're not going to do that. We're just going to dive in and, uh, and work on this race and, and do something uh, within it. But I wanted to show you the setup that I've got here. So if you look at the global settings over here, we've got the one click screen up. Um, we've got the global settings up over here and you can see I've done offset with greening which will become apparent why I've done that in a second. Offset it by 10 ticks, um, fill or kill for 30 seconds and offset batches of 1. And what I'm actually going to do is we've got the global settings up here, we've got the one click screen here but when we actually trade this race what I'm going to do is click over here and that will invoke the global settings. So despite the fact that we're using the in-play trader and it could be on a different screen. We're actually going to invoke um, all of the global settings by clicking over here. When you place a bet here, it automatically inherits the characteristics that we see over here. And that's why I'm going to put the two screens up for you so you can see uh, that process um, underway. But um, let's um, wait for this race to get going and then we'll place this bet. Okay, so this race is about to start. I'm doing this blind. I'm not uh, using any particular logic in this, but you can see the favourites drifted a lot. They really don't like this favourite. And these three have come in. Um, so yeah, we're going to um, see how they start to race. And we will um, do a position based upon that. The interesting thing about um, looking at it this way is 
the pictures that we have on the screen here, or that I'm using at this moment in time, are delayed. I should perhaps have brought up Betfair Live Video and showed you the pictures from there. He's, this, uh, this guy's looking at this runner at the moment. Lovely morning, I can tell from the colours. I think it's just checking the tag. But um, obviously the market is going to discount information faster than pictures, so actually looking at the pictures probably won't gain you as much information as the market because there will be people on course and they will be acting on behavior um, so they will spot stuff long before anything you see on the screen even on live video so if you watch the odds this will give you a view um, on how people think things are going so immediately they look like they like Ranyama. Ranyama must have got off to a good start and these two have drifted a little bit from there so um, if I ID the colours, he's got uh, red epaulets by the look of it. Um, I can have a look and see where he is. There he is. And um, we can see if we if we think we like that position. He's actually slightly um, to one side here, and uh, somebody else has actually got the, the the rail at the moment. So um, we'll wait and see how things go. I can fly. They seem to like. So I'm just IDing. I can fly as well. And they're coming around the bend here. So if I actually, um, they're, they're, something will spring into the lead in a second now. So I'm just going to lurk in front of it, and it looks like it's going to be I can fly. So if I ping a, a bet in there, Bet Angel will place the bet in, get it matched at the best available odds, offset it with greening. You can see it's offset it to 166, and um, when that gets matched, you'll see uh, what effect that has. It's going to be a close finish here. There we go. We've just been matched, and in fact, he got the whip out and sprinted on. But uh, you can see that by going in and using with greening, you can see basically that it's actually spread the profit across. So the with greening is basically hedging that closing position. And you know we've only used a small stake and a really basic example here to give you a demonstration of, of what goes on. But um, if we look at the matched bets here, you can see that it backed at 176, offset it by 10, but used a slightly larger stake. That's what the with greening does. The with greening allows you to hedge a position across the entire market um, and it will do that in one click. So we could see that I can fly um, was the favoured horse. We saw that um, when the whip out it started to contract quite quickly and all the others went backwards so we clicked on that quickly and just nipped in and out. I'm not suggesting that you do it this way or that this is a strategy that you should adopt but just so you could see how in play trader works and how it interacts with the rest of the product. Um, it's up to you how you want to deploy that. But yeah, a really simple example of it there. But you could see the way that the odds moved um, as the markets got underway and you can see how we exploited that um, in, a, in a very simple manner. But also um, you've got the benefit of learning there that when you do an offset bet with greening that closing bet automatically hedges your position. There's no need to green the position. You basically, with one click over here, places the back bet, bet angel offsets it and puts the hedge position in the market simultaneously. So you don't need to worry about attempting to hedge your position um, in play, which is always going to be a nightmare because there's an in play delay and the odds are going to shift around all over the place while that in play delay um, is going. So that's why I recommend you use with greening. Anyhow, I hope that video and demonstration of in play trader and how it interacts with the rest of the software was useful for you.